one of the things about the Missouri Valley Conference is the grind, you know, and it's, it's you've got to be ready every single day. You've got to put like a wonderful product out onto the floor, you know, day in, night in, night out. And I think that that's what it's going to take. I think it's going to take a lot of depth. I think it's going to take, you know, clearly a chemistry amongst a team. And one of those teams that's able to make adjustments, make plays and just go for it. Well, our start is, is certainly a challenging one, and I think the great part about it is let's bring the NAP Center magic. You know, like one of the great things I do think about our conference is our attendance. I think people will come out. I think that they love to support their Bulldogs. I think they love to support the teams, and I think it's one that we are. It's going to be really experience under fire. You know, we are going to we're going to play a lot of people still. We'll still continue to have an up-tempo style, um, but having the caliber of those teams come to the nap center it will exactly like you mentioned it will it will I, it'll be a good test for us to see exactly where we are well i think it's a great thing because back to your comments of of just having a the a lot of return we have eight returners now we're adding six new players um, so that that combination and, and developing that chemistry you know is going to be hopefully masterful where we are able to really add some old with some new back to you know really the leaders we have two fifth year seniors who have just been you know i think Phenomenal pioneers, I think, for, for Drake basketball. And, and I'd be remiss not to mention Maddie Monahan and Hannah Fuller, who did have the option of choosing to not come back. And here they are. And they have, they've really set the tone for, I guess more than anything, meshing that chemistry together over the summer and now really into the into the preseason. So um, I'd be remiss not to mention the two of them, Grace Berg. No, the cover is not bare. You know, she's newcomer of the year. I mean, I, we have really high expectations for her. And then back to our sixth player of the year, you got Maggie Bear. So how is she going to respond? We had an all-freshman team candidate, Courtney Becker. How is she going to respond? And I could go on and on and on. And then not to mention, you know, the six new players that we've also added and so it's going to be so much fun um, I think it'll be I think it'll be a little bit of a, a new sort of style and look but same great basketball so of your of your newcomers that you've talked about and obviously you light up like a Christmas tree when you're talking about them I think that's a great thing about coaches can you talk about one incoming freshman in particular and I was Miss Basketball and Katie Denevere yeah and and Again, you know, she has to earn her spot like everybody else, but, but getting somebody of that caliber to your program, uh, kudos to your coaching staff for making that happen, first of all. But then secondarily, how do you slot that in, given the eight returnees, or where do you see her role? given the, the immense experience right. that you have coming back. Right. Well, I think I think one of the things is, you know, when you step you step on the floor, everything's earned. And I think one of the things Katie brings is is a different level of competitiveness to her game. And that's on both ends of the floor. So I think I think what Katie brings, you know, like just a, a day to day sort of practice situation um, is just you know, like she's tenacious. And I think that that's going to raise the level of play for our entire team. You know, like her role this year, like we have really high expectations for her as well, along with everyone else. So I think, you know, I'd be remiss not to say like Katie should make, make a, a strong impression in the Missouri Valley Conference.